द बजाज क्लब द क्लब वॉज अ लिमिटेड एडिशन मॉडल फ्रॉम बजाज विच केम बैक अलॉन्ग इन नाइनटीन एटी फोर इट हैड एन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक एग्निशन सिस्टम एंड इंजन किल स्विच विच वर यूनिक एट दैट टाइम इट यूजली केम विद अ डिटैचेबल सिंगल फुट रेस्ट बट एन ऑल राउंड फुट रेस्ट वॉज ऑप्शनल इट गेव अ माइलेज ऑफ फोर्टी किलोमीटर पर लीटर ऑन रोड्स विथ गुड मेंटेनेंस दिस स्कूटर वॉज पावर्ड बाई हंड्रेड सी सी टू स्ट्रोक सिंगल सिलेंडर इंजन दैट प्रोड्यूस्ड फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स बी एच पी द इंजन वॉज मेटेड टू अ थ्री स्पीड मैनुअल गेयर बॉक्स दिस मॉडल वॉज डिसकन्टीन्यूड ड्यू टू द ह्यूज सक्सेस ऑफ इट्स हायर पावर्ड फोर स्पीड वन फिफ्टी सी सी मॉडल द चेतक द क्लब हैड अ हंड्रेड सी सी इंजन एंड हैड अ स्मॉलर व्हील डायमीटर कंपेयर टू द चेतक The Chetak had better pickup but a lower mileage. It was priced at around INR 9500 approx at the time of its release. Bajaj Spirit. Next up is the Bajaj Spirit, an automatic scooter that was launched in 1999 to take on the popular TVS scooter. It is powered by a two-stroke 60 cc single cylinder air-cooled engine. It had a two-speed automatic transmission with kick and electrically started ignition. It was targeted at the youth segment. Spirit is ideal for college students as it is light in weight. Women can also ride it. The engine produced a maximum power of 3.6 bhp at the rate of 6500 rpm. along with a peak torque of 4.3 newton meter at the rate 5500 rpm it had a superior gradeability to take on steep terrain with ease along with an anti dive system for more effective and safe braking it was internationally styled with clean rounded contours it got a, it got convenient turning radius for easy movement in and out of city traffic Bajaj Spirit was priced around rupees twenty-seven thousand approx. It had two versions, where the earlier one came with a rectangular headlamp and the later one with a smiling headlamp. Its expected mileage was near thirty-five to forty-three kmpl. The scooter had a CVT, which made it the first gearless scooter from the company. Bajaj Spirit won the best scooter and the best indigenous vehicle from Overdrive, a Network Eighteen Media venture, in two thousand. Bajaj Bravo The Bravo was another two-stroke scooter by Bajaj when two-stroke scooters were struggling hard to survive and as a result of that some good technologies were adapted by the companies It was launched in 1999 It featured transparent indicator housings and was powered by a 145.5 cc air-cooled engine which was equipped with a superior reed valve technology and got better engine performance The engine churned out 8.1 bhp of power at 5500 rpm along with 13.2 newton meter of torque at the rate 3500 rpm and came mated to a four speed manual transmission it had a front suspension with adjustable shock absorber with anti dive system and a rear suspension with adjustable hydraulic system Elemental Sensation was launched in 1996. It was powered by a 125 cc two-stroke engine that produced a max power of 6.5 bhp at the rate 5,250 rpm and a peak torque of 7 newton meter at the rate 3,250 rpm. During its time, it was among the most stylish-looking scooters on sale in the market. The power is transmitted via a manual four-speed gearbox. The empty weight is 94 kg plus a tank capacity of 4.5 liter. Fresh oil lubrication is carried out with an oil or petrol mix ratio of 1 is to 50. Like the Vespa model, drum brakes were used on both wheels. The Elemental sensation is optically the same as the Vespa PK XL2 and also comes close to it technically. The Elemental pulse also produced by Elemental was also based on the small farms sheet steel chassis of the Italian Vespa PK model but visually differs from the Italian model in that it has a different front cover the elemental sensation was there with air cooling 125 cm cube two stroke engine and was also known as ES version with electric starter available
एलएमएल सुप्रीमो द सुप्रीमो ऑफ एलएमएल लोहिया मशीनरी लिमिटेड वाज लॉन्च्ड इन 1995 इट वाज अ स्टाइलिश लुकिंग स्कूटर दैट वाज पावर्ड बाय 149.5 सीसी टू स्ट्रोक इंजन दिस इंजन चर्न्ड आउट 7.5 बीएचपी ऑफ पावर एट द रेट 5250 आरपीएम अलोंग विद 8 न्यूटन मीटर एट द रेट 4250 आरपीएम ऑफ टॉर्क and came mated to a 4-speed manual transmission. The chassis was based on a modified Vespa PX steel frame with a model fiberglass front, as was already used by LML NV. The Supremo was always manufactured with the same engine variant, until the end. The vehicle has a kickstarter kick and there were also models with an additional electric starter. The power is transmitted via a manual 4-speed gearbox. The empty weight is 106 kg plus a tank capacity of 8 liter including a 1 liter reserve. The lubrication took place automatically. LML Trendy. And the LML Trendy was the first scooter from LML without the involvement of the Italian manufacturer Piaggio. It was a small scooter launched to rival the Bajaj Sunny. The Trendy has a kick starter and there were also models with an additional electric starter. The fan cooled single cylinder two stroke engine has a displacement cc of 59.8 cc and a maximum motor power of 2.6 kW and 3.5 horsepower at the speed of 6000 rpm and a maximum torque of 4.12 newton meter at 5500 rpm and came mated to a CVT. The power is transmitted via a variometric gearbox the empty weight is 69 kg plus a tank capacity of 3.5 liter fresh oil lubrication is carried out with an oil a petrol mix ratio of 1 is to 50 the vehicle reaches a top speed of 50 km per hour its unique design and the oddly placed spare wheel made it different from the rest of the scooter and it became quite popular among the youngsters